Hello and welcome to a new set of tutorials in the famous CAD software SOLIDWORKS. So in this tutorials we're going to use the SOLIDWORKS 2014, the newest in this year. So SOLIDWORKS is a very famous and most used since it is strong CAD software user friendly with interactive interface. So here you have your first interface when you are starting your SOLIDWORKS and here you have the file view tools help the file you have the new open the view the toolbars and they are still shortcuts until we enter the part editing or start a new part so here you have a quick shortcut a new and open and here at the end if you open you have the option where you have the system options we are coming to this options later in this tutorial and also you have the add-ins so SOLIDWORKS has add-ins not only its main job to make 3d modeling also you can perform some specific studies like simulation routing and also you have some tools that you are they are already made that you can easily insert them into your assemblies like bolts screws and so on also you have another add-ins so for example if you want an add-ins to start an add-ins you just pick it from your menu here and if you wanted to start up with that you can check it so I keep it uncheck it because that would save some time in starting so now let's start a new part to start a new part you have the new or from file new so you have three main types of parts or files the part is a simple 3d you are creating and then the assembly to assemble what you have created in the parts and assemble your final product drawing a 2d presentation at the it is a last stage to represent your products to client or the manufacturer so let's select part and then okay so here is the new part interface here you are able to minimize it and here you have your part and to the left you see your part tree and as you notice here you have the simulation simulation icon is in here because in the beginning we started it and Also, we can to talk about the units because it is important to choose your units. So now let's go to the options menu. From here, if you take this option, this time you will notice the document properties. You have the options here. You can try to have a look, quick look on them. But the most important now, we go to the document properties and then you go to the units and choose the system you want so we are going to use the millimeter gram second system in all our tutorials so when you are done click ok so when you are looking here at the bottom you'll see the used un units and you are able to change them quickly to other system so i'm going to give you them to millimeter gram second also if you look into the interface you have these quick icons right now we don't have any drawing part that we can use them but they are easy to use and they are like the zoom to fit zoom to area the section view and how you are viewing the orientations of your parts the isometric normal tool so if you notice this one is the normal tool which 
bringing your part to the normal to the face you select and here you have on this under the glasses you have different options you be familiar with them when we starting our parts so in the next tutorial we're going to start the first sketch and see the sketch menus functions and tools